The shape of a modern all-metal airplane is determined by the inner structure or framework. The framework strengthens each section and gives it its shape. Notice how this bulkhead is shaped to form the contour of the stabilizer. Notice also that the finished part has formed flanges and a lightning hole with raised edges. Flat pieces of metal, cut to shape and called blanks, are used to form such parts as bulkheads. On this blank, the edges will be turned to make flanges. And the edge of the lightning hole will be shaped to add strength to the part. Before starting, be sure the part numbers on both the template and the drawing correspond. The template is your guide and must be the same as the part specified. A form block is used to shape the blank into a bulkhead. Look at the part number on the form block. Be sure the form block number is the same as the part number on the template. Check the blanks with the template. Be sure they are the exact size and shape of the template. Notice that the bend of the flange follows a curved line. So this part cannot be made in a forming break. Forming of this kind, however, can be done on a hydraulic press. This is a small hand-operated hydraulic press. Clean the bolster plate before setting up the work. Dirt causes damage. To set up the work, You'll need a rubber pad, the form block, and a blank. First, clean the form block. Place it on the bolster plate of the press. Center the form block under the ram. Check the blank to be sure it is free from burrs. Put the blank on the form block. Locating holes in the blank, keep it from slipping when it is placed properly over the locating pins of the form block. Place the rubber pad on top of the blank. Be careful not to shift the work. Turn the hand wheel to lower the ram down onto the work. This press is hydraulically operated. Turn the hydraulic valve lever on. Then begin pumping to build up pressure. Watch the pressure gauge. The pressure squeezes the rubber against the blank and forces it around the form block. Stop pumping when the pressure is high enough for the job being done. The part is formed. Turn the valve off. This releases the pressure. Raise the ram. Remove the rubber pad. The blank has been shaped around the form block. However, additional hand forming is necessary before this part is completely formed. If there are wrinkles in the surface, or if the flanges are not bent sufficiently, these are corrected when the part is finished formed by hand. Compare the formed part with the template. 
Notice that the bulkhead fits the curved inside layout lines of the template. Now, another bulkhead is formed. A drawing will show what happens. Under pressure, the rubber actually flows and squeezes the blank down around the form block. When the pressure is released, the rubber starts going back to its original shape. As it moves away from the flanges, the flanges move away with it, then stop while the rubber continues on. This is called spring back. The form block is undercut to allow for spring back. In quantity production, large power-driven hydraulic presses, like this one, are used to form sheet metal parts with rubber. The forming of parts with rubber on this power press is fundamentally the same operation as performed on the small hand-operated press. But many form blocks are used at one time. They should be about equal in height and there should be enough space between the blocks to let the rubber flow against the sides of the blocks. The work table, which moves under the ram and serves the same purpose as the bolster plate on the small press, slides on small wheels to make loading and unloading easier. An electrically operated pump builds up the hydraulic pressure. Higher pressure must be used. The rubber pad is built into the ram. This is a 2,500 ton press. Here is a bulkhead similar to the one formed in the small press. Finish forming by hand is also required here. On the small press, one part is formed at a time. On large presses, Many parts are formed at the same time. Small presses like this are hand-operated. But large presses are operated electrically. However, regardless of the size of the press, the basic principles of forming sheet metal with form blocks and rubber pads are always the same. 